Welcome to the final video in our series on visuals in technical communication. In this video, we will explain what schematics are and when you might use them as an engineer. To begin, what are schematic diagrams? We are going to provide a broad definition of schematics that includes several types of visuals you may use as an engineer. Schematics are symbolic and simplified diagrams of objects, structures, or places. They are not intended to be fully realistic. Engineers use schematics in documents when explaining how a system works by indicating various parts or steps of a process, or identifying different parts of a mechanical system or structure. For example, the schematic on the screen demonstrates the components of a residential septic system. Schematics can also be used to depict the workflow of a process or a project timeline. For example, the one on the screen shows a project roadmap. When working with schematics, you should follow guidelines to ensure you are being clear for your readers. In this section, we will outline key considerations for using these diagrams. First, Carefully consider what information you need to include in your schematic. Because schematics are abstract, simplified diagrams, consider what information is essential to include to inform your reader. Unnecessary clutter and detail will detract from your visual and discourage your audience from seeing the main message, such as the overly complex schematic seen on our screen. Next. Good schematics use labels to accurately represent elements of an object or structure. Use labels to note components and sections of objects. You can include measurements of components to give a sense of scale for readers. Other types of labels include a scale and legend. Ensure that labels are clear to read by having contrast with the schematic color and that they do not crowd the visual. Colors, line styles, shapes, and fill are also essential for good schematic design. These elements can be used to denote different categories or sections. For example, the flowchart on the screen uses color and shape to indicate different stages of the process. Color is also important to help your schematic look aesthetically pleasing. Choose colors that coordinate well together and that provide contrast which ensure legibility for readers. Finally, in this video, we will explain how you design and incorporate a schematic into a document, such as a report. When you are ready to insert your schematic into a report, you would label it as a figure. You not only insert the figure into the document, but you also write about the figure in the body text. Your audience expects to read about a figure in the body of the report before seeing it. You should refer to the figure by number, such as in the example on the screen that reads, see figure three. Your figure should then be inserted into the first available place after the paragraph in which you refer to the figure. Be sure to number the figures by the order in which they appear. If you obtain the image from elsewhere, you should cite the source for a schematic just like you would for a written source. Many software options exist to help you with schematic design. Several options are shown on the screen, including Lucidchart, Diagrams.net, Google Drawings, Miro, and Microsoft Visio. We've provided links to these options in the description box below. In conclusion, schematics are used to present details of structures and workflows in a simple manner. This concludes our series on the use of visuals in technical communication. These videos will help you create more effective engineering reports. Thanks for watching.